I've said this a lot on this show, Terrence, that Democrats are out of issues. Uh, they can't run on the economy. You know this. Bidenflation is killing American families, and Bidenomics was a flop. They can't run on secure borders. That's for doggone sure. The Biden border invasion is worse than ever, and fentanyl flowing over the border is killing hundreds of thousands of Americans. They can't run. On law and order, crime has skyrocketed around the country, especially in blue states and Democrat-run cities. They can't run on foreign policy. The world's on fire. Biden is as weak as ever in the world stage. And Joe Biden famously wrong on literally every foreign policy issue known to mankind. So what can Democrats run on? One thing, folks. It's abortion. Evil Republicans want to take away women's health care and return them to the back alley coat hangers. It seems to be the only issue where Democrat voters can actually get motivated to get their people out to vote. Now over at Real Clear Politics, Lee Risotto wrote a column about how Republicans can message on the issue and win in 2024. Lee Risotto is a retired U.S. Consul General in the Trump administration, and he joins me now. Lee, it's wonderful to see you. Uh, Lee, you know, they, they really want to use this issue. It is the only issue they have. You and I talked about this at dinner the other night, Ambassador. Um, you know, here's the thing. Uh, the pro-abortion Radicals on the left are the real radicals. You can't make the right side radicals on this issue. There is no one on the right side talking about killing fully formed nine-month-old babies that are post-birth. Correct, Gina, and uh, thank you for having me on the show and Pleasure. willingness to talk about a subject that most Republicans are quite fearful to even bring up. And th the reality is, we should not want to put ourselves in a group that would be a short list of countries such as North Korea and China that consider this acceptable behavior, this barbaric act. And the, the reality is, for those that are pro-choice and those that are pro-life, over 70 percent of Americans are against full-term abortions. So let us at least acknowledge that and take these extremists, you know, on with for exactly what they are and be willing to at least agree on this one point that would ultimately save, you know, thousands of lives as well as cease the barbaric behavior that that's being uh, supported by, you know, th these groups. Yeah, and, and no one really wants to tell the truth about the money involved here, too, Lee. It's it's startling. Uh, the body parts being sold, uh, we showed, and I hate saying this, but you have to tell the truth about this issue, scalps of babies being sold uh, for research. It has become a massive multi-billion dollar industry at this point that, by and large, uh, except for under Trump, taxpayers are funding, Ambassador it, it, it's truly horrific, even the thought uh, of uh, taking a, uh, 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 an aborted uh, child, and it truly is a child at nine months, and now, you know, selling body parts, you know, in the open market, it, it, it's completely outrageous of a thought. And to think of the, the morality of our country that, that would condone this, it, it, it's outrageous. And let me, let me point out, during uh, the prior Congress, Nancy Pelosi twice got a bill through Congress that was signed off on allowing full-term abortions, and they tried again this year. Fortunately, it did not make it through the Senate, but twice the Democratic Congress signed a bill that approved full-term abortions, and that's completely outrageous. And as I said earlier, whether you're pro-life or you're pro-choice, 70% of Americans are against this. Yeah. So why do these politicians keep putting their own uh, uh, decisions before that of what the American people want? That's such a great question, Ambassador, and we so appreciate your continued leadership and writing on this uh, because the really the radicals are clearly on the left, and you have pointed that out, and, and American politicians need to do the same. Thanks so much, Lee Risotto. Absolutely. And best wishes. Thank you for having me.